Thanks for being here, Miriam. So where are you from? I'm from Milan, Italy. And how long are you going to be here for? Uh, for a year until graduation. What brought you to Hopkinton High School? Uh, so I remember my first my first year of high school and my English teacher. She was talking about this exchange year, the year abroad, and so I thought that in Massachusetts you have the best schools. And so uh, my agency, so this agency where I went to, they showed me bunches of school and I picked up Kenton because it was nice. What's the difference between a school in Hopkinton and your school in Italy? So the difference are a lot, but the main difference is that we don't change class. And so after the lessons are the teachers that change class. And so we remain stuck, not in the same class, but with the same people for five years. And so that's maybe for you is not that good. But I can say that my schoolmates, my classmates now are my best friends because I know them for from five years. And what kind of differences are there between the communities of Hopkinton and your Italian city? So um, I live in the center of a big city, so I can walk everywhere. And that's also why in Italy we can't have our drive license before becoming 18, so oh, I am 18 now, <laughs> so I can't wait to have my driving license. But we can drive because we don't really need, and we can move, and we can go everywhere, walking or with the public transportation. And I found like moving here very difficult because there is also no taxi services, and I don't have a license, guys. Any other cultural differences between the way we do things and the way you do things back in Italy? Okay, you are much more nationalist than us. <laughs> and so I found, not weird, but interesting, the, um, the national song at the beginning of the lessons every single day. Is, I think that if in Italy they would propose something like that, everyone would cry and scream and say, no, 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 that's crazy. But it's good. And also... Um, hangout here is different because you don't really have places to go. Like in Italy, we have a lot of uh, a lot of clubs and places to go Saturday nights, and also we have places in the city as the squares with bars and things. And the problem is that we can't get in before the twen- twenty ones. Age. And I think that it's too late. It's kind of too late because in Italy, in Italy, that's we can do. We can do from 16 and whatever. Have you encountered any stereotypes in America that you think are wrong? Yeah. First of all, we don't eat pizza and pasta every single day. And when we speak, we don't move our hands like that every sing- with every single word. I know some people who do that, but... They are also American, so it's not an Italian thing. And about the food, here everything is Italian, as pasta alfredo or parm chicken. Okay, those are good, but those are not Italian. I've never heard about that before. And Italian dressing, I've never seen. Italian sausages, I've never seen. All the Italian food, I've never seen in Italy. So how is the pizza different in Italy? So first of all, when we go out to eat pizza, we eat an inter pizza, so we don't share the pizza because, like, pizza is a meal. And I'm not, like, full with two slices. I need a pizza. <laughs> and also, another difference is that I've seen when you eat pasta, you, like, use the pasta aside, but pasta is an inter meal. It's not to eat besides chicken or vegetables and, like, Pasta with chicken is not a thing. What do you miss about Italy, home? Okay, naturally I miss my friends, but I miss moving so easily, and I miss food. But here I love the ribs, and those are also my favorite food. But I miss um, food style because I have some problem with milk, and here everyone put butter everywhere and so 
Yeah, butter is good, but olive oil is much better and it's what we use. And it's more natural. So you mentioned that our Italian dressing in the United States is not genuine Italian dressing. So could you tell us what is Italian dressing? Yeah, it's very simple. Just a little bit of salt, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar, and that's it. When you get back to Italy, what's the first thing you're going to do? Probably I'm doing my 18th party because they're pressing me now, and I'm just going to see them again. And I'm going to eat some good pizza. <laughs> I'm kidding.